this book is bulky. It's super heavy. It's too long. <laughs> it's out of print and there is no ebook available. Maybe because of that, it's taking me too long to read it. I started it on March, I believe, and I'm almost halfway. But I never bring this with me because, of course, it's really uncomfortable to carry around. My plan is to scan the book, convert it to an EPUB, and read it on my Supernote. For that, we need a little help from Evernote because I'm going to transcribe the pages, then we'll send those pages to uh, Google Docs and convert them to EPUB. But I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself here. The first thing I want to do is try this, make sure it will work. What I'm looking for here is some samples. I'm taking pictures of some pages. I'm not using the scanner, just a regular Evernote camera. And then we'll open this on the computer and see how the transcribe feature does, if it does a good job or not. And by the way, if you are thinking about buying a Supernote, please use my affiliate link. It's the same price, but I'll get a little commission. Okay, let's take a look at this. Okay, this one here is a good sample. This one, I guess I cut it here, so I'm not gonna use this one, but this one is also a good one. So let's start with the first page here. Just hover the mouse and click transcribe. Okay, we have the page number, which I, I really want because if I uh, highlight something, I want to know in which page I did that. This is very, very good. Now I'm going to open a Google Doc here and I'll copy and paste each one of these parts into that new document. So now all I have to do is download as EPUB. We are saving this in the Supernote folder on my Google Drive, and that will synchronize with the Supernote. Okay, let's go to Inbox, and here it is. Just remember to set the font to the size you want, you prefer, before taking notes. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch this other video here. Let's try this one here. Save. Much, much. <laughs> okay, I'm not complaining. I just don't understand how the formatting got so much better. Maybe Google Docs, when it converts to EPUB, it, it does something to the document. I'll do more tests here and try to understand what's happening. Okay, let's talk about the process I'm using after some trial and error. And by the way, please don't use this method to share illegal copies of the book. I purchased all my books, I bought this one, and I'm doing this for personal use only. As for the formatting, I still don't understand what happens when I first open the book on the Supernote. It, the formatting looks really weird, but then when I change the font size, it the layout is automatically improved. I'm not complaining, <laughs> I like that, but I really would like to understand what's going on there. If you know, please leave a comment below. As you saw in the beginning of the video, when I first started this, I was taking the pictures using the Evernote camera. I'm not doing that anymore. To make things more efficient, I'm taking pictures with my Android camera, and these pictures are automatically sent to my Mac. If you want to know how to do that, there is a video here on the channel. Check that video if you are a Mac and Android user. With the files on the computer, I first added the page number to each file and then created a new folder and moved those files to that folder to check all the files to make sure everything was okay. At first, I thought I missed some of the pages, but it was just a typo and everything was there. So <laughs> no need to do, uh, uh, no need to take more pictures or redo the work. The next step here is dragging all the images to a notebook in Evernote and start transcribing each one of them. Uh, 
I separated the, 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 the images in uh, per notes because when I first tried this, it, it got a little messy with multiple images inside of the same node. I was taking too much time trying to figure out if I had already copied a text to Google Docs. So I decided to do it uh, note, uh, image per note. So it's one image, one note, one transcription. It's much easier to, to uh, then move them and make sure I moved all the correct files, all the correct transcripts to Google Docs. Now, this time, I don't know if it has something to do with the fact that I didn't use the Evernote camera, but it felt a little bit longer. Each transcription felt a little bit longer. It could be just a perception or when using the app, Evernote starts processing the pictures as soon as we take them. Don't worry, I'll ask Evernote about that and I'll let you know. Another issue with formatting, I had, I guess, two or three pages with uh, the text a little bit with indentation, so it was not a full on the full page on the book. Those uh, transcript, transcription of those segments, those parts, they didn't they were not breaking at the end of the, the page. The, the transcription broke them exactly the way they were on the printed page. So I had to rearrange that. That took a little, a little while, and, but it was just two or three pages uh, and I converted 18 pages in total. Another thing I did, and I don't recommend you wasting your time on that, was making all the numbers, the, the pointing to reference, superscript because the transcription also didn't make them superscript. They just, the transcription just added a number like, I don't know, 10, and it was like uh, the end of a word and then the number 10 and I made them all superscript. I memorized the keyboard shortcut. It took a while, but I'm saying that's a completely waste of time because <laughs> When I converted the book to EPUB, the EPUB file didn't recognize that and removed all the superscript formatting. So don't waste your time on that. Like I said before, we're talking about 18 pages and it took me half an hour for the entire process. But as with everything that we do a lot, I'm sure I'm going to get much better and much quicker on this process. Of course, I'm not doing the superscript anymore, reformatting the superscript anymore. So I believe I'll get to, I don't know, 15 to 20 minutes per this number of pages. And I'm not doing this all the time. Like I said, I'm going to read these pages and then converting them. So I think it's fine to use 20 to um, 15 to 20 minutes of my life instead of carrying that super heavy book with me. If you like this video and you want more unexpected workflows, there is a playlist here on the channel. And if this one was helpful or enjoyable, or maybe both, and you want to help support my work, you can become a Patreon or YouTube supporter. Of course, liking, sharing, commenting also helps a lot. Thanks for watching. See you soon.